my earliest memories of art uh, was when I guess I was near uh, five years old, five or six years old actually. And I used to really enjoy uh, finger painting, things like that. And I have one of my earliest pieces still. And of course, it's of a city of all things, you know, so I'm really, really uh, like that. But I was always um, very good at painting or drawing or that type of thing. So early on, it's very early, like five, ten years old. And then at ten years old, uh, and, and my mother took me on a trip uh, internationally. I went to Paris and Germany and all this, on a prop plane, by the way. Uh, but I visited the Louvre when I was 10 or 12 years old. So art and architecture were always a part of my life, and it's all about exposure. So I've been exposed to art and architecture all of my life. So, uh, so I began real, real, real early. Howard, when I got to Howard, okay, uh, the great thing about Howard University is they taught me the basics on how to put together a building. And when you graduated from Howard University, all the firms in town, they would just take you. I mean, it was, boy, you graduated from uh, Howard, we want them to be on the drawing boards. Because at that time, it was all drawing boards, it's not computers. So I went there for the first year, and that was when I really found, because that's the first time I went in architectural school. Prior to that, it was math. So now I went to architectural school. Uh, when I got to architectural school, that was it. It was like a dream. It was not like I'm really working. It's not like school. I just, it, it, and it came easy to me. I said, I have found my spirit and my passion. I don't know, it's just focus in on this. So then my parents still said it was a difficult profession, which it is. I said, you really sure you want to do this? Because it's very, very difficult. I said, hey, God gave me this uh, skills and gave me the spirit and the passion. That's what I'm going to do. You know? So I went to uh, Howard. And uh, then I was there for one year and got top grades and everything. And then... Uh, in Pittsburgh, uh, then I start seeing this young lady called Sylvia Harris, which is my wife. She lived in Pittsburgh. I said, shoot, I gotta find a way to go to Pittsburgh. So I played, applied to Carnegie Mellon University, and Carnegie Mellon University accepted me into the master's program. We got awarded that project. It was the International Terminal for the Olympics, too. So this is when the art thing came about. So then he said, okay, well, let's, one of the concepts is let's put local artists to be highlighted throughout the airport. So in the conceptual design of that project, art came first. So the art was all laid out. I have the drawings that show art pieces where they're situated and all this throughout. And the whole idea when you come in internationally, you come through those, uh, uh, the terminal, and it's all art. So then that led to one thing, and then art starts spreading everywhere. In all of my projects, uh, the City of Atlanta Quartz Facility has art integrated into it. I always got artists to do certain portions of it. So it's always been there as part of my whole uh, career, because it is my... Uh, Really, my spirit and my passion is in the art area because I, I want to be an artist before I want to be an architect. But so I just had to be an architect to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. I think it's after I've been painting all my life. Different pieces are there. But until I got the pressure taken off of me from the business from the business side, then I've really got more into it. So like t today, I know exactly, and it's a beautiful thing for me personally, and that's all I need to be thinking about at this point is, is, is I go back to my initial spirit, which God gave me and which I have a passion for, and that's art. 
So that's what I'm into right now. And I'm into it uh, like 100%. And I've disavowed, I don't want to say, uh, not disavowed, that's not my, but I try to not to get into other, other distractions would be the best way I c can explain it. Mm -hmm. I like my friend, uh, it's a friend of mine that works with me. He's a painter and he likes to frame his pieces like painting and frame. I say, hey, you're going to either be a painter or be a framer, you know, or, but I'm not, be a painter because you're spending your time, do it in what you like doing. Like I like to paint, so I'm going to be a painter. First of all, you have to have, find time uh, to let your spirit uh, sort of come to you. So I will come down here, walk down those steps, and when I walk down the steps, I don't know really what I'm about to do. So I have to come in this space. I'll come in here, and then most likely I'm going to turn on the radio, 91.9, uh, my jazz station, because I listen to jazz all the time. i got to get that and that sound going, listen to some cold trains, Miles Davis, you know, uh, Eric Dolphy. And then I start walking around and I still don't know what, what will happen. So I try to just loose, loosen up and don't plan anything. So then I'll start uh, just picking up stuff, you know, just pick up this, pick up that, and then start laying it down and then um, I don't have any planned anything. So then the painting, paints and the colors and everything are, I got a whole big cabinet full of colors, paints. And so I'll get a canvas or whatever other, and I call it hitting it, you know. I'll just start hitting it. And that's my term for just, you know. You and then attack. I let it sit and there and then it start talking to me, you know. And then it see, and it either says one thing or it says something else subliminally to me. And then I might let it lie or I might come back, I hit it again or whatever. Or the sequence of going back and forth goes on for, it can go on, it can go on for hmm, 15 minutes. It can go on for uh, two months. And it's back and forth and forth and back. Like some of these pieces here are pieces I've been working on for a while. They're still not done. So when, whenever I put my signature on it, then the piece and myself, we've come to uh, sort of like a resting point. But until I sign it, anything can happen to it. Like it might, I might jump on it again and it'll transform again. So I don't know what will happen because I'll come down. I'll see it one time. It looked pretty good and go back and go to sleep and wake up in the morning and come down here and say, that's a whole lot of crap, I don't like it. So then I'll, and I've, some of the pieces I have shot, take some pictures of, and those are pieces I've really reworked over. And when I see the pictures, I say, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have kept that original piece, but I don't know. So, it's, so I work in like a, a, a layers and I work from my spirit. And the other thing is subliminally, my pieces are uh, architect, Actually geared because being an architect all these years, balance is important and perspective. So my pieces are about sort of balance, balance and color, but I also want to have a three dimensionality to it, and I don't want it to be uh, something that you get right quick. You know, I mean, you have to look at it and come back and you look at it again, and it says something else. And come back in a month from now, they'll say something else to you. It's not uh, just sort of straightforward. And the other thing, my process is I work um, in 360 degrees. I want it balanced in three, 360 degrees. Uh, so sometimes I'll start with it laying horizontally and then I'll turn it vertically. I'll work with it vertically. Then I'll turn it the other way and work with it the other way. And finally, it'll come to some sort of resting point. And then if it comes to a strong resting point, then it's a horizontal piece <laughs> that way, or it comes to a vertical piece. So it's, uh, and then I paint for myself too. I'm not painting for, I'm not painting for you. I'm not painting for anybody. I just paint for myself. 
And if somebody likes the piece, that's fine. But if they don't like it, that's fine too. Oh yeah, that's been great because you uh, uh, had me in Hammond South saying thank you very much for that opportunity and then you s said you might be interested in some future things which got me going. I said, okay, this is a challenge again. I work under challenges, so I like the challenge. So then I got scared again. So then I said, oh boy, so now I really have to start, you know, I really have. So, so I've been painting since then. So the the pieces I have now are much, are much, uh, I don't know what, to, but they have a lot more spirit in them, I think. Mm -hmm. And in a much to my going in the right direction for me. But it's all about just continuously painting. Now, I went to Jamaica, and I went down to Jamaica. I took some watercolor sheets, and I painted down there. That was nice, because I've never painted acrylic on watercolor paper. So I have paper pieces. I've done a whole series of paper pieces, too. Yeah, so they're here, too. So I'm just, so I'm just painting everywhere I can paint. <laughs>